is that too high? How is that too high? How is that too high? Today I'm reviewing a spectral version of Fiendish Freddy Big Top of Fun from Mindscape. Um the spectral version's a bit um rubbish compared to the Commodore 64 version. And because the spectral version um comes on cassette or or disc. The disc version's okay, but the cassette version has that one hell of an awful oh um multi load every single time you have to load all the time you have to keep pressing play and loading shit man it's loud in there if it was a real spectrum this would be loud in there and just for a little introduction so you can sort of that if you press space to continue it's now it's loud in again eek 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 now it's loud in again and we finally get to the menu screen, okay. So now we get to choose between how much players we want. So I'll have one player. We'll have this beast. Right here. Now it's sliding again. Eek! Eek! And then we get this little animation right here. And now it's sliding again. As soon as it's off. So eek. 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 The Spectrum version's good if it's on the disc version. The type version is awful. It just keeps loading all the time. So and basically obviously you're gonna go to the The game itself isn't bad. It's only good though if you've got the disc version or an emulated version. The type version is horrible for a multi -load. It's probably the worst multi -load I've ever saw. It's really, really bad with the multi -load, is this game. That's what made the Commodore 64 version good because it came. Yeah, the Commodore 64 version is actually available on a card um, type. Well, the, what we all know is the um, cartridge version when it came with the C64 game system cartridge. As if you could fit in a bucket like that. And then we're taking the piece. Let's check it out. Here we go. There are a few stunts. He's pushing me over. That. I'm like, will you fuck off, dickhead? Fuck you. One thing I've always hated about this game, no matter what format it's on, I don't even know how to fucking get aids of it, man. When you're doing this shit like that, I mean, it's just, de it's just really hard. I mean, it's a good game, it's well presented, but it's fucking dead hard. This game is actually made by uh, Mindscape, I think. Here comes the judges. Now we get a massive motor loud. After this bit, we get a massive motor loud from the type, and then we let's see how it performance. Now the Spectrum version doesn't help the Commodore 64 version. Um, I think animation on the judges are just just a single two shot frame. And then you get a massive loud. Eek, eek, eek. Massive loud. The Spectrum version. The Phoenix Friend, the top of fun. It's okay if you've got the disc version. Okay, the plus three version. The type version of this game is awful. Okay. The motor loud spoils it completely. And I'm gonna give the um, type version a pathetic 4 out of 10 and I'm gonna give the disc version a nice 7 out of 10. Goodbye.